I think that daydreaming is so important. If you can kind of relax your mind enough to let good things happen. So you're meditating or you're falling into an image, then you naturally allow the better things to kind of flow to you. That's the way it works, that's the way the world, the law of the universe. I don't have a specific intention when I make the work. I tend to make the work from my heart. What's really nice is that people find something in that, they, they get something from it, and I think it does lend itself to sort of dreamscapes and daydreaming into an image. The way I take photographs, I'll kind of take a photo and it'll be for, you know, a small bit, but I won't have realised it. I'm like, I have to take a photo of that, and I'm like, why did I take that? And it's like, oh yeah, because there's this beautiful string of lights with a bit broken, or, you know, just just things that, that you don't necessarily hone in on at the time, but there's something in that that you know that you've got to have. I think, I think that's how I work now. So I've got about 45,000 photos. The way I make the piece, I'll just start somewhere, so I'll find a photo that I like, and just start from there and build. I'll do overpaintings of photographs, and then I'll scan them back in, and then print them out, then cut them up, make them into the collage, and then paint again. So it just goes through the different layers, and then I'll leave bits blank, and make half tones, and sort of just making it feel digital and handmade. That's sort of how I bring it together. And... Okay, this one's called Good Day. Sort of photos taken in Mexico, New York, LA, bit of Brighton. It's kind of finding beauty in anything, in the banal or just, just in life. It is just about wandering around and observing life and, and feeling in that, in that sort of mood of just appreciation. I kind of just start with somewhere, I probably started with this image because I think it's really interesting, kind of image of a smashed up wedding cake. And then I sort of built around there you can see beauty in everything, even something so kind of could be perceived as tragic. I think this piece is quite fun and uplifting. This piece is called The Power. Fairy Solomons from Mexico and Santa Monica, Venice Beach, LA. The piece is really about the power of one and the power of an individual, your own personal power, and that we're all made of energy and we can, you know, tap into that, and the power of one thought as well. So this is uh, printed. Well, I work with them to, to kind of figure out where the glosses should go. So on this whole one, I wanted it feeling really powerful, so the whole thing has got a layer of uh, semi-gloss and I had it torn to the edges. But this, this is high gloss, and then they've got the spaces in the centre. So I just, I just pick and choose where. If you can connect to source in whatever way you do, whether it's through painting or making music or meditating or whatever you do, if you can feel connected, then, then that you're enabling your power to come through.